Hey guys, welcome back to another World of Tanks video. Uh, today we'll be grinding credits so I can put some equipment on my object 7772 because right now all I have are vents and 200,000 credits. So we'll be playing with Anonymous Peer. Hello. There he is. And we're going to start off with this tier 4 premium they decided to give us. And I'm going to... Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm sad there's no rammer. Uh, definitely vents. Should I? I think I, I should put... a gun line drive and a turbo on it. I was thinking about putting optics or binocs for one of the slots. Uh. Yeah, maybe one of those two. You can go either... Here, test coded optics. See how much view range you'll get. Alright, uh... Coded optics. Spotting 360. 409. I do. I do yeah, do let's do binocs. And then... Finally, you said... Gunline drive. Alright. Because this thing has absolutely horrible aim time. And yeah, because look at the size of that gun! Yeah, everything about this gun other than the alpha damage is pretty bad. I'm sorry, I have to do something real quick. 0.5 dispersion with vents and uh, gunline drive. What? 0.25 dispersion. Or aiming time, sorry. You can't put a camo on 2. this 5, 2.58 aim time. What am I saying? Um... And 68 standard penetration. So if you get up to your fire gold. Well, first of all, it's a bit of it's a bit of a shame that it's um, 68. Yeah, I definitely load gold. First, I'm just taking the time to buy. Yeah, I bought a thousand each. Or yeah. Unfortunately. You're yeah, that's a bit. That's a bit of an issue. Um, All right, not depot. Uh, back here. Economics with Griffiths one. <laughs> All right, now that we're done that premium. You said. Well, now that you bought that, so much for. Um, oh, what? That's a lot of. Okay. Oh my. You know what? I have a lot of credits. Let me do that too. <laughs> Time to live up to the name of our clan. May the wallet warriors unite. Yes. Here, I'm going to go full even so I don't get OCD. Wouldn't want that. All right. Here we go. That was really weak. <laughs> yeah. That was so weak. I had like a five second voice crack. Come on. Ooh, glacier. Oh, up tier. Alright, good thing I loaded 64 gold. No, not 64. 42 gold rounds. Why did I say 64? Because 64 is obviously very similar to 42. You know it. Alright, what's the plan? Well, first of all, I wouldn't load gold first because all the faster tanks are probably going to be the non tier 5s. Mm, the Chaffee is pretty fast. But that has no armor. You don't know that. It's a Murrican. Your point. If it's not Russian, it won't have any armor, so like. Oh, are you kidding me? The Stug 3B is already calling spots. So where are we going? I guess, I guess mid. Yep. Not, I'm Let's not. Let's not do that because we have five degrees of gun depression. Dude, I've done worse. <laughs> oh. Oh. He, he went up the rock. What a shame. Oh my god, this accuracy. Oh, yeah. Hey, Chaffee. Oh, Chaffee. What? <laughs> Since when do Chaffees shoot high explosive? Also, by the way, the high explosive rounds on this thing really aren't that good. I bounced, I bounced off the M8. Okay, there's a KV-1 on the enemy team that appears to be stock because he just did 92 damage to me. That wasn't worth it. I gotta agree with you there. Especially since I got set on fire. So That's not... slightly less than optimal. <laughs> now I'm out two consumables. Okay, load gold for the M8. Or M M10 RBFM. And the M8, because I bounced. Off of the M8. I know this thing only has 68 penetration, but I mean, come on. 
Also, that T-34 1941, you cannot pen the front of this tank with standard ammo. What? Yeah. This thing has that bad pen. Kind of like a Panzer II J, but nothing good about it. Exactly. And it's a higher tier. And I'm going over here because that M10 RBFM can pen the front of my turret, and I can't pen him even with gold. Hey, Panzer III J. I trust this gun. Is this a destructible building? No. That is very unfortunate. Some would say it's less than ideal. It's what you would call disturbingly inconvenient. By the way, dude, that T-34 that just got onto the ship might cause you some issues. I agree. Actually, I was going up to try to shoot him and got distracted by that M881, which I missed. Alright, consumables are back. That's good. But I don't think I'll be in a position to use them because I might be dead already. Hey, there's the KV-1. Huh. Someone please shoot him because I don't want to. Jesus, he's just marching down the middle. Oh, no, he is not. He is marching straight towards me. Help, please. I don't want to fight this. Okay, there's a Matilda. Dude, I am also... Big. I'm going to die. Um, This is not good. Well, on the bright side, he's getting slaughtered. Hey, I tracked him. Well, unfortunately, I have less health than you now. What? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> what? I know it's true, but that's three. That The difference is three. Oh. oh no. Yo, well, and this thing only has 560 health and highly sub average armor. Highly sub average. Just think you about that. You know what? For Never mind. <laughs> Will someone kill that M10 RBFMR? I'm not doing it. Other than you. Really, artillery. Do something you... Be like that guy. Don't even try. Yeah, doesn't he have 8 degrees of gun depression? Uh, yeah. He probably has more... He probably is better with his gun depression on that ridgeline than you are with elevation. Now go. Try and shoot. Just go. Or else we'll just go up. And oh. That's not good. Hey, artillery killed him. <laughs> Why couldn't he have done that before their artillery killed him? That's the real question. That's interesting. You saw that fall over, right? Yes. Oh, well. Yeah, I wouldn't pick that. Yeah. That, all it takes is that chappy spotting you. Hey. Okay, well, there's the Chaffee. <sighs> See, that beautiful example of gun depression is precisely why I did not want to go to this map. Well, it's Russian, so I guess that worked. Nice. Yeah, we ain't doing too good. And we're not doing terrible compared to them. Just not great. Well, technically, they're doing better than us. But you know what? We got Russians on our team. We'll be fine. We have income. Oh my god, we're not fine. Oh, How we are very not fine. You know, I was actually going to suggest going to the ice road. You know, you should have suggested that when I asked. Oh, where should we go? Well, you know, I just didn't think about it. Just might just okay well screw Russia. Did that guy just ram the artillery? Now now I think people are gonna call me a bot. <laughs> well they're wrong, so who cares? In chess that's a compliment. <laughs> Unfortunately this is not chess. This takes more skill. Mmm. No. Nah. Well, it takes Cause... more skill because you have 14 other people on your team who have zero skill. 
And so you need to basically play for 15 people. That's just how World of Tanks works. Yeah. <laughs> for what it's worth, the mobility isn't half bad on this thing. Yeah, that's one of the better parts, pretty much just because it's a T-34. Everything else about it is very, very sub-average. Yeah, but I don't remember the normal T-34 going this way, so I think this is a stripped down... Not stripped down, but the one that's at Tier 5 has more armor. How much armor does the one at Tier 5 have? Probably more than this. Because this has 45 pretty much all around. Oh, then maybe I'm just... Maybe I just... Maybe it is the same as this, but just a better gun. Wait, shit. Well, you didn't get spotted. Sure. I'm highly concerned about that Matilda. Yeah, isn't he at full... No, he's not, but he's still dangerous. You see, when you have this much penetration, a Matilda on any health is very, very inconvenient. The thing is, you have to shoot gold at the sides or... The weakest spot on the front is actually the turret. That's disturbingly similar to the KV-222. Yeah, Matilda is an O premium. Just a seal clubber. And it's also tier 4, not tier 5. Alright. I just realized you don't have six cents. Shoot. That's probably exactly what he's gonna do. Oh no, he did. Stupid of me to be out in the open, but whatever. I got You probably should have reversed. Well, time for something else. Alright. <laughs> So, what else are we gonna do? Probably a tier A premium, because I actually want credits. So, I'm gonna go with Old Reliable, who's sometimes unreliable. Well, I guess I'll spot for you. Alright. I don't usually snipe in this thing. Well, just hope we get on Prokhorovka, because then you can just snipe and nobody will care, because that's pretty much what everyone else is gonna be doing. Nah, man, I'm gonna go to the hill. If it's Prokhorovka. Oh, it's not Prokhorovka. That's too bad. What do I do with my life now? <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna go to, um... I'll probably go mid. Avenue. <laughs> Avenue. You know, yeah, I should probably get more rounds. Heh. I just switched to my other ammo loadout so I have more gold rounds. Yes, six. What was your previous ammo loadout? Three. Oh. See, I just have, like, an ingrained fear of firing gold in auto loaders just because you fire a lot more shells than you normally would, at least in theory. That's true for auto cannons, <laughs> where you fire, like, three per Wait, shell you have icon. To think, in this tank, it's very unlikely that you're even going to hit anything, so. Did that Lynx not spot me? Oh my god. That Scorpion G cannot spot me from this distance. I do- I will not fall back. Hey, a 59 Patton's pushing. That's interesting. Oh no, he's not going to- well, the Renegade is pushed back for now. I'm gonna join the Patton, even if it costs me a bit of health. Well, the enemy ELC and I have just spotted each other. Alright, that cost me more health than I'd like to admit. Alright. 
Uh, what to do now? That's that a VK four five zero two A. I am running. Why is he in mid? I don't know, and honestly, I don't care because I'm too busy running. All right. Well, that hurt. Right now, I'm just stressed. How do you think I feel? I'm in an ELC, and there's a VK four five zero two A. And a Lynx, and an ELC even 90, and a Barask. And I need to go this way. Will that be all, or would you like to add some more? <laughs> yeah, I'll have some fries with oh that. Oh my order god. <laughs> hey, you asked. I'll have to put this through a compressor because of how, how loud we are. <laughs> no, see, you just have to tell them to turn their volume down or go down. Okay, the Lynx is calling me a moron. What am I going to do? No, 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 no. He just called you a Mormon, but misspelled it. Okay, well, that's even more insulting. What? <laughs> I'm not that annoying. Damn. Uh, we could this use... This is not looking good. We could use some support from our heavies. Two mediums won't be able to hold for long. Yeah, they're pushing. Well, what if you're two mediums and a, and a half health ELC even then? Yeah, we're you probably still no Speaking of ELC even then. Okay, I'm screwed. Help me, team! Oh, okay. Yeah, our heavies didn't help. Not, not to say that I played great, but I could have used some frontline support from the frontline tanks. That's the wrong way. They're all wrong ways. You know what? I will kill this ELC even 90 if it is the last thing I do. Oh no. <laughs> I won the Ram duel. Yeah, um, I don't know if you somehow ramming him guided the G source shot. <laughs> Oh, nope, you're screwed. You're more screwed. They will <laughs> never hit me. Well, one did. I am invincible. No, no, other I way. am okay. the ELC. Oh my god. You dodged a Borsig. It is to be expected. Right. What is this lag? How did I not crack? Oh, that's a Scorpion G. Oh, no. oh. I will successfully dodge him too. Or you'll just because ELC. Or you'll just solo that. Oh my I god! I dodge the Borsig because ELC. Oh no 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 no! I will dodge. No! Him. Oh my god! ELC. You could have gotten another shot into him. <laughs> but ELC. For the record, that was not intended. <laughs> <laughs> Did you lag? Or did you just- No, I just forgot I was turning left. <laughs> <laughs> I was so focused on my absolutely insightful commentary that I completely forgot that I was pressing the A key. Oh god, I gotta resupply consumables manually. Uh, screw that. <laughs> Tier 6. You know what? Hmm. Let's see if we can have one last hurrah. With the KV2, please. You know how I feel about this. You saw that game that I got. Right, I, I'm about to. Really I'm work, about to commit sacrilege. I mean, I already have six loaded, so. I'm too broke for six. Uh, so. See, I'll just fi I'll fire the gold for. You. Nah, just lend me some gold rounds. <laughs> I'll just shoot him at you. Maybe you'll catch him. Just shoot at my barrel, then it'll... <laughs> speed loading. Yep. Because that's always a good idea.
I wish if you had a smaller caliber gun than a tank you were shooting at, you would be able to shoot down the barrel of the gun and knock it out every single time. Or if they are loading HE ammo, you detonate it. And it would be like an That MRF. would be very interesting. Possibly unrealistic because the breach of a tank is super thick. This is what half the tanks have never existed. Yeah, but we're discussing practically like half of the stuff that would be in War Thunder. Dumb. Listen, if Wargaming wanted to do that, no one could stop them. True, yeah. Because it happens so it rarely. You wanted or, wanted, whether you wanted it or not. <coughs> HE nerves. <laughs> <coughs> Tier 9 prudes. <laughs> Welcome to the salt mines. Here, just follow me and we'll be alright. Probably not, but hopefully we'll actually do something. Honk. Also, here's a tip. If you don't pen, expect to do somewhere around 170 damage. If I'm lucky. I'm expecting to do 20 damage. No, come this way. Fine. Remember, you're a KV-2. Gun depression is non-existent. Has that ever stopped me before? Fair enough. But still. Just like, it, it's. I think it's funny when you load heat and shoot into uh, tanks with no armor, like an AMX CDC or a Scorpion. And yes, it doesn't matter see, which. See, at that point, it's just asserting dominance. Two. Where are they? Where, Where are they? They're 1R. G1R. No. I've been playing too much war. For the motherland! Oh, jeez. Oh, damn it. You see, it would have worked, but I slightly missing. Good. Okay, okay. Nice. There's a super chat. On my reload. And a talk. I think you can see where my thought process is going. Mm hmm. And I'm right there with you. Is that Tog being a ridgeline warrior? Nope, he's just cresting the ridge. Oh, jeez, my We eye. must sacrifice our lives. No, 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 no. Go for the Tog. Don't sacrifice on a super chaffy. Ooh. Well, we both missed, so... Sir, that was very insulting. I did not like that. Uh... Bounce the tog. Heavy tank number six. Unfortunately, I did not successfully. One twenty nine. You hit the tog. Yeah. Rip. No, I only did one twenty nine to him. No, I know. That's why I said rip. Oh, for me. Yeah, <laughs> call an ambulance! Call an ambulance! But not for me! How did that miss? Stalin, why have you forsaken me? He didn't forsake us. Wargaming did. Speaking of which, I'm still salty about that. Thank you. Welcome. My gunner was on a vodka-fueled rage. <laughs> Nice. See, derping in the KV-2, it's a state of mind. Do it. Darn it. The tog he's backing up, so I panicked. Father Stalin's purpose. Father Stalin, now he's a priest. <laughs> he's <a> God. Missed again. Got 13 seconds left. Finish him. Nice. Time to go Mission duck. Accomplished. Time to go duck hunting. Well, the 10 um. 100. Yeah, the the 10100 is right there. Avenge me. 
of vengeance me. <gasps> yes! And I, I didn't even auto wait for that. I just like, and I didn't go into sniper well, mode either. Both already did zero damage. Yeah, they just stunned him. I might ram this guy uh, or not. Yeah, you made me not want. You. <laughs> no. <laughs> you see, I don't have a speech impediment. I'm just incompetent. Which is pretty much the same thing. Ah, it was worth a try. You see, the KV-2 is the ultimate sniping tank destroyer. Yeah, I was hoping to miraculously hit him across the map. On the move? Yeah. I mean, it would've been funny. Would've been so funny. Unfortunately, I'm just out of render distance. Now I don't have enough gun elevation. What? You're... How are you dealing with elevation problems? This is a very steep hill. And this thing is practically an oscillating turret with the amount of gun elevation it gets. <laughs> Move over, FL10 turrets. I hope this guy moves up before we finish capping their base. Ugh, shell was off. I so would have hit that man. <laughs> that was pretty fun. Nice spot. <laughs> no, no, darn it. Welcome to the club. All right, please don't tell me I actually get spotted. I got two marks. Excuse <laughs> me, what? And spotter! <laughs> Alright, and I think that's a great place right. to end that this is video the off. Best way to end. Alright, thank you guys for watching. For those of you who did, uh, expect a guitar cover uh, sometime. Yeah. Alright. Just don't expect much, because it's him. I'm just kidding. You probably weren't expecting much anyway. Why am I still here? Just to suffer. Alright. See ya.